the more energy efficient it is, the more it costs. We usually measure this in sears. The higher the sear, the more energy efficient the unit or the system is itself. So with all those things considered, we need to fall back on at least one thing that all of them have in common. You have to know the cubic feet that you're trying to heat or cool before anything can begin. So how do you calculate the cubic feet so that you can begin to figure out what size unit you need or how many tons does your unit need to be rated at? So the first thing you have to do is you have to find out the number of cubic feet you're expecting this system to heat and cool. 